there, guys. How's it going? So, this is the first match preview I'll be doing this season, of course. It is against Ipswich Town tomorrow at half past 12. And I'm going to be covering Anna Slot's first pre-match conference. Also, there's a few snippets in there that we can probably have a little chat about. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder, guys, to please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and leave a comment down below with your match predictions of the score and potential lineup also. So then, guys, let's start off with this lineup, shall we? So first and foremost, let's just change this. Boom. There we go. That is my predicted lineup for tomorrow's game. As you can see, it's pretty much the same team that lined up against, uh, was it Sevilla? Pretty much the same team. You know, we've got uh, Trent coming in at right back, which Slot did cover in the pre-match press conference. Kwanza van Dijk and Shimakas with Becker Allison in goal. McAllister and Gravenberch as the double pivot. So Bozlai just in front of them. Diaz and Salah as the wide players. And Diogo Jota as the number nine for this match. What about you guys? What do you think about this? Any changes you would make? I think I was probably umming and ahhing about the left-back situation with Simicas and Robbo. But Simicas has played a lot more pre-season. So that was pretty fairly straightforward for me. And then I did, if I'm not going to... You know, if I'm going to tell you the honest truth, I was debating whether it was going to be Gakpo or Diaz out there. But again, I've gone with who's played a little bit more and shown a bit more in the preseason. So, yeah, I've gone with the first team that pretty much started against Sevilla and I'm going to stick with it. So let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Do you think this is potentially the starting eleven against Ipswich for tomorrow? So then, guys, quickly, we're going to change over now. and I'm just going to share this little document I've got with you. Basically, I'm going to um, quickly just show this so we can have a little look-see. So this is basically what was on the press conference today. Um, let me see if you can read that fine. Yeah, you seem to be able to read that fine. As again, as you can see, it's a Word document that I've uh, just copied everything over to made a few notes on. So as you can see here, guys, it does say that... Um, you know, Anna Slot on his feeling before his first game in charge says that he's excited, of course. It's always a nice feeling to start the season because this is what you've worked for over the past few weeks. He was then asked about transfers, um, and this is what he said about that. Basically, along the lines of our squad is really strong. It's not so easy to find players who can help us. Zubamende was one of them, to be fair, but he decided not to come. We go forward with the ones we've have, we have, and we are in a good place. Richard is trying to strengthen the squad. And then he also goes on to say that Richard Hughes here, I'll put his initials. He did everything he could. Me and Richard are trying to strengthen the squad. And if we think we find someone, then we bring them in. Unfortunately, don't know why there's that there, grammar. <laughs> Unfortunately, we found one and he did not want to come. Next up, he was asked, Again, what he's excited for and basically he was touched on as a manager, wherever you are, you try to implement your playing style. Unfortunately for me, a lot of my playing style here was the same. Fortunately for me, sorry. If I'm here for three, four, five, six, seven years, I will always give the same answer. There are always things to improve. Um, on the contracts, he basically just shut that down straight away, saying that this isn't the place to talk about um, stuff like that. And he can assure you us that they'll be in the squad tomorrow. On Trent Alexander-Arnold, he basically mentioned how Trent is known for playing as a right fullback for his life. In the modern game, we see lots of fullbacks going into midfield. I saw him doing that in the Euros. He is capable of playing both positions really good. Now, this one is a little bit interesting to me. It's the Luis Diaz situation. Basically going on to say that I like a lot of what I've seen in the past 10 days. He's had a big impact in past seasons, and I'm hoping he has a big impact on the upcoming season. <coughs> he isn't going to come out, guys, and basically say that he's up for sale because then that weakens Liverpool's negotiation um, point. So, yeah, I, did, I expected nothing less in regards to that surrounding the whole Luis Diaz situation. And then lastly, guys, touching on Darwin Nunes, which is one of the things that I'm quite excited about seeing, is how Darwin Nunes is um, going to play under Arna Slot, saying that bring him as much into the scoring positions as we can, but every individual benefits from the team performance. If we, as a team, get our attackers in dangerous positions, these players will score goals. 
So there you have it, guys. That is basically everything I wanted to cover with you in this video. Let me down below your thoughts on Arna Slot's press conference, your starting 11s, and your predictions for the goal scoring thing tomorrow. The goal score, the score, the scores. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me know down below, guys, what you think, and I'll catch you in the next one.